What's up guys, TC here. And today I wanted to uh, do a follow-up on my ammunition series. Uh, I didn't know it at the time, but it turns out there's a lot more ammunition in the game than I thought. And so uh, I figured I would do a little video on it. I'm going to start off by covering the grenade launchers, which there's actually a lot of ammunition for. There's, there's 12 different types of ammo for the grenade launchers, which I had no idea about. So uh, I'll run through the grenade launchers, and then I'm going to run through a couple more guns that also have different ammo. So we'll start off here with the uh, low-level common grenade launcher. And these have uh, two different ammo types. The first is a normal explosive round, so this just uh, this will just hit an, imp an enemy and explode. Pretty normal. The next one is the ex the bouncy round, which has a gray tip. So like this will actually bounce off of surfaces, but it'll also do damage if it directly impacts them, like that. So let's see here. Whoopsie. Spawn NPC, avian. There we go. A little round of applause for our volunteers. Uh, up next we have these uh, three uncommon types, which there's a little fireball, uh, an electrical type one, and there's actually, it's kind of odd, there's two grenade launchers in here that don't have a ammunition type labeled, but they are actually different, so I'll cover those when I get to them. The first is this uh, fire grenade looking thing. So if you see here, it actually, it's very, very bad. It hits, it does normal stuff, uh, it does bounce, but it doesn't go very far. Yeah, no good. Up next we have the electrical one. This one's a little better. It shoots pretty far, and it does that. So if you hit them directly, it'll do that. And then lastly, we have what I would consider the worst one in the game. It's not labeled, but it's like a uh, it's like a sticky grenade. But it doesn't stick to. It'll stick to like the ground. So here you'll see it just sticks to that. But what makes it really bad is that it. It, the only thing that detonates these is time. So, like, if I shoot him directly, it won't even kill him. It just goes right through him, see? So the only way to heal, kill someone with this is you have to, like, put it in front of them and wait for it to detonate. So, like, I have to just wait for this to go off. Even if an enemy walks into it, it still won't go off. So if I, I can put it right on him, if I can, it won't go off. So it's, it, this is definitely the worst one. It's uh, the uncommon variety, and it doesn't have a grenade or a, uh, an ammunition listed. So I would definitely recommend avoiding that. Uh, if we move up a bit here, we get to the... Uh, this is the... It's like a hover grenade. It's actually pretty cool. And you shoot a projectile like that, and it just kind of... It goes a certain distance, and it stops. But if it comes in contact with an enemy, it'll blow up. So you can use it as like a, a form of defense, you know, kind of back up, keep someone away from you. And if they approach you, they have to go through this grenade and take damage. The next one is another one that's not labeled. Uh, and this one here is the rare version that's not labeled. And it shoots a just a regular sticky grenade. This one will stick to walls. Uh, this one's considerably better than the other. This one will actually, it'll kill enemies on impact, so you see. But it'll also stick to surfaces and stuff, which makes it considerably more useful. Uh, up next we have the, oh yeah. This one, it looks like a, a mouse or something, I don't know. But it actually shoots a little cat. So if we look here... You see that little thing? And this is not a very good grenade launcher. It doesn't, it just kind of goes forward. It doesn't really bounce much. Uh, it'll, it does damage to them, obviously, but it has terrible range. Okay, come on. There we go. I don't recommend that one very much. Moving up to the legendary, there's, uh, there's four different ones here. The first one is this red and the green one here. And there is a very subtle difference between these two. And it took me a bit to figure it out. Uh, the red one here, if we look back here, you'll see it bounces and blows up, and it drops those little bouncy grenades. And the green one appears to do the same thing. Bounces, drops these little, little grenades here. But the very, very minor difference is that the red one is a bouncy grenade, and when it blows up, it drops more bouncy grenades. The green one is a bouncy grenade, but when it blows up, those little grenades it drops, they blow up on impact. They don't bounce anymore. So if you look real closely, you'll see the red one does bounce. And then those little projectiles, they also bounce. The green does not do that. It'll bounce, but they blow up instantly. So I would recommend the green one over the red one, just to make things a little easier. Uh, the, up next, we have this weird pig grenade launcher, which uh, it's a lot like the little cat launcher. It, I don't know. I thought maybe the pigs would run somewhere, but they really don't. They just kind of land, and eh, that's about it. They have terrible range, as you can see. They do blow up on impact, though. Uh, and lastly, we have these little, um, what's this called? It's a nail grenade, I believe. And it, 
it bounces and stuff, but when it blows up, it shoots off uh, spikes in cardinal directions. So you can shoot them directly, like this, and you'll see those little spikes come off in the uh, the cardinal directions. And so, I mean, it's okay. Yeah, see them? Not that amazing, but it, it works. So we're going to put the uh, grenade launchers away here. And then we will move on to this uh, other little subset of weapons that are very unique here. So, let's see. Uh, first up we have the shatter guns. And then we have the flamethrowers, lightning guns. Oh goodness, where did I put that? Oh, here it is. Okay. So we're going to start off with the uh, the shatter guns. The shatter guns are really strange. They're like uh, little shotguns, I guess you could say. And they shoot different projectiles. So this one shoots glass. Uh, this one shoots this weird, uh, I don't know, rubium type material. This one shoots, I think, is violium. I don't know. Uh, this one shoots some kind of radioactive stuff. And they have a lot of variations. Like, some of them shoot, like, a ton of projectiles like that. And some of them only shoot a couple, like this. Like, this one only shoots three. But what I know is they're they're very high damage. So think of them as, like, really, really close-range shotguns. Yeah, so they, they do a good job at damage. They're kind of underrated, but uh, different ones, they have different types of projectiles. And they have different noises. So this one only shoots, like, a couple. This one here is, uh, this one shoots that rubium stuff, I think, or violium. So here, you'll see that one doesn't shoot as far. And there's this radioactive looking one here, which shoots pretty far, but it only shoots a few. So they're, I don't know, they're like hit or miss. Either they do really well or they do really bad. Uh, moving up next, we have the, uh, let's see, let's do the cell zapper. Uh, cell zapper, alright, here we go. Cell zapper is kind of a strange gun. You'll see it kind of bounces on its own, and if you look real carefully at the ammo, you'll see this cell zapper has a 3 on the thing, and this ammunition here has a 5, and what that means is the number of time it bounces. So this one actually bounced 3 times. See, and if we go over to here, to this one, this one will go a lot farther. Now, the cell zapper ammunition, what makes it unique is it travels through enemies, so you can hit more than one enemy with one bullet. So, um, obviously the higher the number, the better, and it, it tops out at 5, so we'll take a look here. This should go through all of these guys, well, uh, if it hits them. Yeah, see? It doesn't have quite the good range, and it does kind of spiral off a little bit. It's kind of random on where it uh, where it bounces off to. And so here's like a lower number. This one doesn't bounce as much. See? So you want the higher number you can get. Uh, they're not terrible weapons. They, they do go through multiple targets, which is very nice. But, I don't know, they're... Uh, that ammunition that shoots through the, what is it, the armor-piercing rounds or that goes through multiple enemies, that one's better in my opinion. Because you can kind of control where it goes. This one's kind of random. Uh, up next, let's cover the uh, the flamethrower and the lightning coil, which these look very similar. So here's the lightning coil, and here's the flamethrower. And these are, they're short to moderate range, medium damage, but very, very high rate of fire. So if you look here, the flamethrower is 29.41 rate of fire. And the lightning coil is 10, which is still fast. Uh, they tend to do really high damage. They, they light the area up. So here you'll see. Real, real quick um, to kill. They do a lot of damage. Very effective. Uh, I like the flamethrower because it gives them that burning effect. So even if they get away, they still take a lot of damage. Uh, and then lastly, we have the globe launchers. And the globe launchers are pretty unique. Uh, I actually like them a lot. They're very underrated. But you'll see here, they shoot this glowing orb. And it just kind of floats out there and it stays there for a bit. And it'll do it'll do direct damage. If it hits them, it'll blow up and kill them. It's very high impact damage. It's kind of a low rate of fire. And there's several different kinds. So like this one's good for caving. Like you go caving, you you know low light area, you just kind of pop a few of them up, and it lights the area up for you. Uh, but then we have a couple others here. So we have like this rolling one here, which is still very good. And you, this one will roll. Uh, so let's see here. Yeah. See, it'll it'll continue to to roll. Well, it doesn't really roll uphill or anything. But it does light the area up, and uh, again, actually pretty useful that I've I've come to find out. They do a lot of damage on impact, and they uh, you know they pretty fast too. They roll downhill pretty well. And then the last type is this. Um, it's kind of like a floaty one. It goes up and it explodes and it drops. Uh, it drops more of them down. So you'll see that it goes up like that and it drops these little explosive things here. Now. This one doesn't look as useful when you first look at it, but um, when I first played through the game and I tried to beat that penguin boss, I had to use a gun like this 
to beat him in the, in the UFO because I had one that went really high up. I, I found one that floated considerably higher up than this one did. And so essentially when he's floating over me, I was just firing these things up at him. And it would hit him when he's in the air and when they blow up, they the little projectiles that fall kill his little penguin buddies. So don't underestimate it too much. It's, it's actually a very good weapon. Uh, overall, I still prefer the, the floaty one though. So uh, that pretty much covers the uh, the rest of the ammo in the game. I don't think there's a whole lot more. There's some more unique guns, but they tend to not have uh, variations in ammo like these do. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later.